Hi, I'm Poppy Delavine, and today I'm going to show you my everyday beauty routine. How long have you got? <laughs> Starting with skincare, MBR face wash, uh, medical beauty research. It comes actually as a powder, which is kind of fun. Mix with water. I have been using this product for about three years now. I had really bad skin when I hit 30 and it basically saved my life. It's an enzyme cleanser. Now my face has gone really pink, which means it's time to take it off. <laughs> I look like a tomato. Next step, I love this face mask by the wondrous Dr. Barbara Sturm. And I like to just put this like, <laughs> it's fun, it's like face paint. Like T-zone area, which I just leave on for a few minutes. I probably do the mask like three times, three times a week. I just feel like it gives you that extra deep cleanse and now I rinse it off. Okay, so then the next thing I do is I use a toner by Mario Badescu. Uh, this one is Rose and Witch Hazel. I feel like the rose is really gentle, but the Witch Hazel's got a little kick to it. I've always been like a real beauty junkie. Um, I've always been really like fascinated by it. No, I felt like I learned a lot of beauty stuff from my grandmother when I was like growing up. She always had like dressing tables filled with lotions and potions and she would just forever be like taking, taking off makeup, putting on makeup. Okay, so next up, SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. I love this because it makes me feel like some sort of mad scientist. You know what I mean? Like some kind of crazy apothecary person. And you're not meant to like rub it in. It's meant to just pat it really gently. Getting rid of all those wrinkles. Okay, then, just to make it even more apothecary and weird, there are these little ampules by Barbara Sturm again, which you crack. Oh, try not to get glass in it. Then you pour out like this. Oh, it's so good. It's like more of a dabbing thing. There's like also a really good trick with these ampules, is especially in summer, you can put them in the fridge and then crack them open when you're like hot and it's just really refreshing and hydrating. I also always carry these on the airplane with me. Like the best is to keep in your handbag. My little secret weapon. This is like the part two of the SkinCeuticals. It's their B5 hydrating. It's like a moisturizer. Now I mix this with my SPF. So I do two, three drops of that. And I add HelioCare SPF 50. They don't have a color that actually matches my skin. So I use, they've got a brown one. I do one pump of, and then I have a light one. So I mix the two together. HelioCare, um, the SPF that I use every day, it doesn't matter if it's like sunny or not, I use it, I'm quite religious with my SPF. It used to fill me with horror, the idea of like putting sun cream on when you've got like really bad acne, and it used to really freak me out, but HelioCare is like really anti-greasy, and it was the best product to use. I was a tomboy and I wasn't really like into makeup and it was only when I started modeling that I realized I had to like start taking care of it a little bit and be less lazy and now I'm fully addicted. I'm fully SPF'd. Um, oh and before I forget, a little bit of eye cream, Sisley eye cream, just a tiny little dab. But today for you I thought why not and the key with the eye cream apparently is not to go too high up against the eye. So when I did Barbara Sturm's blood cream, and they take your blood, so you have like a blood test basically, and then they put the blood into a centrifuge with the moisturizer, so it all like comes together. It was pretty incredible, but it kind of freaked my husband out. He was less into kissing me at that point. Anyway, she does a really good lip balm though, as well. And uh, here's a little bit of that. And that is the skincare bit. My massive hands, what the hell? So hair, a little bit of dry shampoo, which I use this like really old, I think it's like super old. It reminds me of like the 70s. 
it's called Batiste. And then, just to like finish with that, I use this uh, System Professional Solar Sun Oil and it smells literally like heaven on earth. And I do two pumps of that just to make it sort of a little nourished because the dry shampoo can be like a little drying. Anyway, we're getting there. I just got back from um, a few days of Burning Man where I had these um, really mad unicorn hair extensions. So my hair's feeling a little dry. Uh, they were like pink and purple and turquoise. So a product like this saves the day. Okay, so next is makeup. Start with a Bobbi Brown concealer pen. I don't actually know what I would do without this. Not that you can ever put on enough. <laughs> I don't feel like anyone really taught me apart from like just begin starting work as a model. You know, when I was 16 and that was how I sort of learned from like watching makeup artists work their magic. There we go, concealer, thank God that is on. I'm beginning to feel a little more human. And then, this is literally one of my favorite products in the entire world, it's Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow, and I literally don't know what I would do without this palette. Um, but I'm one of these girls that loves to be more bronze than rosy cheeked, if you know what I mean. And this does it So a little bit on the cheeks. And then it has this other little section to it, which is like a little highlighter, which I just do right on the top of the cheekbone. A little bit on the neck, by the way. I still also use this for like a little bit of eyeshadow, just to give a little tiny bit of contouring to the eye. Just sweep it a little bit into the lash line like that. And then the other side. I mean, I love Charlotte Tilbury more than anything. She did my wedding look in London five years ago and yeah, I, I loved that. It, she used, I think it was like, she'd just come out with this product. Um, I remember that she used Pillow Talk the lipstick. It was just a dream. It was like my best day of my life and a dream come true to get to work with her on it. We could do a tiny bit. And I always like use this like in tiny, tiny amounts because I feel like when you step out and you've got too much like powder on, you can really see it on your skin. So I love Laura Mercier's uh, loose powder, where you just do literally a tiny bit around sort of nose area and a bit on the chin. I feel like the Brits are quite laid back when they come when it comes to beauty. We're more interested in when we can get to the pub, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> We're all about pints, less about mascara. This mascara I love though, it's mega volume, and I love this, and I just do, because it's just everyday makeup, the tiniest amount. You really don't need that much. I don't know, opens up the eye a little bit. Okay, so then that's the mascara, and then a little bit, tiny little bit of NARS lipstick. It's called Raw Seduction, lol. Um, and I just did a tiny bit of that. I actually feel like as I get older, I wear less in a weird way. Does that sound weird? I don't know if that sounds weird. I just become less, more like cozy and less worried about how I look. And then I do a little bit of perfume. Jo Malone's Jasmine Sunback and Marigold is my absolute favorite at the moment. I like to spray it and then do like a kind of wiggle. It's gonna be hard to do because I can probably spray myself in the face. And then be like, <laughs> that's so ridiculous, and I ate it all. But anyway, it's the best, and I keep, every time I wear this, I get compliments, so it's literally one of my favorites. And then the finale is a little bit of Le Mer facial mist, which I just do two sprays. Again, hopefully not in the eyeball or in the mouth, but. There you go. And there you have it, my everyday beauty routine, skincare, and makeup. Ta-da! Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you.